Okay, so we're back to the meat and potatoes of my videography attempt. And yeah, I know it's mostly potatoes, but then hey, I'm Polish, so you know, ziemniak dobry. It is what it is. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think I would like to hijack the intro to do something or like basically blabber about uh, more of the meta stuff. So I think I have done enough of videos at this point uh, to, you know, just say more about it. So the whole idea about the videography that I'm doing, uh, you know, as an engineer, I have the baseline of stuff being good enough. And I think the good enough is just document the physical stuff that I have done so that, you know, just for me in 10 years, if I manage to live that long or maybe longer, who knows, I'll be able to look back, you know, check my own videos and just laugh how much of, you know, like unexperienced idiot I was. So yeah, that's the, the baseline, the personal stuff, and it's good enough uh, for me. But then the stretch goal, let's call it like that, is uh, actually motivating someone to do something. I mean, that would be my dream. So, so yeah, I think I'm gonna continue. My list so far has over 80 projects, and this is just the stuff that I started at the beginning of 2022. So yeah, I think I have a lot of stuff to cover and I'm still making new stuff, so it's fun all around. Now to wrap up this meta section, I think it's time to you just, you know, like, why even I'm doing that? Well, that's because of two people and uh, they both do YouTube videos. I wouldn't be calling them YouTubers because, you know, in my vernacular, that's a, that's a degradatory term, basically. So the first guy is Big Clive, and I still remember that he was the first channel that I actually subscribed to, which is kind of amazing, it was a long time ago. And I remember one of his videos where he says that, well, he didn't want to be a YouTuber, you know, air quotes or whatever, he just wanted to share back. And that was so simple and so honest that it stuck with me, as in like, yeah, man, that makes sense, that's why you're so genuine, because you are just, you know, sharing back. And then the second person, this is, this is also why I'm even doing the physical stuff, uh, a lot of motivation from there, that's Avi. So obviously our favorite uncle Bumblefork. And uh, I mean, that guy is just, is just something special. My opinion is that he should like be protected by, I don't know, UNESCO World Heritage stuff. I mean, this stuff doesn't happen often. And if you have never heard about him, that's exactly how it is. I mean, he has over like a million and a half subscribers, and, but it's like, a, it's very special. So, I mean, big props to him and also to Big Clive. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I'm on my own journey right now, uh, but every journey starts somewhere. All right, meta off. Let's get to the mobile tray carrier thingies stuffs. So, uh, actually, yeah, I, and I have notes. Uh, I'll be, you know, I don't know if anybody cares about those, but let's start with uh, the story being that I wanted to do a tray carrier, but like out of PVC, obviously. And that was at the time when I was like trying to hack a drilling machine, like a drilling press, drill press, like very cheap Dremel accoutrement where you put the Dremel in and it, you know, you have the, le the lever or lever, whatever you want to pronounce that. And uh, yeah, before I've committed, because this is all very shaky and I don't think I'll be putting like the link to that video because though I think it's public and quite a lot of people, you know, a lot of people by my standards, which is like 50, seen that. In any case, first I wanted to do a prototype and, uh, you know, expecting uh, stuff to completely fail, but uh, I didn't and it is actually pretty useful. And yeah, I mean, the dust is the original dust. It's very dusty in here, as I'm saying a lot of times. So yeah, I mean, you know, like I had this, uh, those, I still have those pouches for different stuff. And uh, before they were just like in a line, so six of them, and that was taking a lot of space. So my idea was, well, I want to do a tray carrier thingy anyways. And you know, like what's the cheapest way to do it? Well, obviously MDF. Probably four millimeters thick, but I'm really bad at remembering this stuff, so don't quote me on that. It's definitely not plywood or anything thick. And yeah, I was just thinking that I still want to be able, you know, like to, to pick 
whichever individual I want without much fuss because I mean the easiest option is just to stuff all the pouches like in a heap but that's not really practical so and this was like close to the idea that I had before of the uh, final thing that I wanted to do so yeah I uh, started with MDF and uh, it's all glued though there is uh, technically a fastener here a single one I guess we should say so yeah my usual PVC profiles mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I should be getting better at this yeah so this like uh, black PVC uh, stuff and you already see the only fastener this is uh, M5 I believe yes yeah, so like the smaller a steel threaded road and you have just like the normal usual nuts at both ends and this is basically I mean mechanically this is what makes the second shelf work this is quite an old project uh, I will have it in notes but I would assume like about two years so yeah this sucks a bit but this is fine I mean these things are not particularly heavy and uh, yeah construction wise Oh yeah, you can, like, I've specifically left all my markings, you know, just for fun. You know, like, to remember that these things don't just appear out of now, nowhere. You have to mark stuff, cut out stuff, you know, like, not do a great job at that, but still, in terms of comfort, this is actually pretty good. And yeah, my usual approach uh, for fixturing this kind of stuff. Uh, apologies. Okay, so like... Uh, it's actually I think there might be PVA no I don't think there was like any PVA it's like CA glue and then hot glue just to add rigidity like on all sides of uh, the thing and I mean in terms of you know like interesting stuff about making things like that the order of operations is extremely important so as you see the profiles I mean it's it's something that you have never done anything you probably won't be noticing it and think it's all trivial it generally isn't because i mean if you like glue the side to that then you will have a lot of problems that are just like you know gluing the profile in and if you glue the profile and this piece then you will have other problems. so it's like there's actually thought required to do it uh, and have a nice result because again i was assuming that this won't hold that this will just break but uh it doesn't and uh, yeah I mean it's not something that you will like throw around but again it, it was supposed to fail and it didn't so I guess that should tell you a lot and uh, yeah so the prototype was a unforeseen success and now I don't even remember what was the original order thankfully I'm making a video so I can always you know like rewind selector and check what it was but I mean this is good enough so yeah this is the you know the idea and the test which was successful let's now get to the main thing which ah, I'm having here plop and as you can see all of this stuff is like constantly used so this is not like a magic prop for video look at me do not touch me or you know, like they, they have in the movies where the stuff doesn't have any back, it's just empty. So yeah, I mean, it's not about the stuff also. Let me get... This is from previous projects. Crap. Uh, it's uh, for the uh, small paint can tote holder thing. That was one of the initial ideas. Cardboard, yes. And also... Hmm? one of those uh, metal wire rods which was actually not straight enough to be useful mm, running out of space my whole life anyways yeah more cardboard and this thing also you might remember from a video that was mostly about me trying to edit stuff for the first time so yeah i haven't uh, made any progress whatsoever on this but then again this whole well, this piece, I, that's actually one of the few pieces, well, I think it's the only uh, piece of steel that I have that I bought new. And I know exactly what it is. It is S235, so it's like uh, high impact, non-stainless uh, steel, uh, structural steel, basically. It's really nice. This is an off-cut, use it for testing, so, you know, like, uh, 
testing drills and now this sort of an uh, attempt at getting better at engraving. Don't worry, I still have like a decade to be any decent, but that's perfectly fine with me. So yeah, this thing, very similar idea. And just to start off, what I didn't do personally is uh, hopefully, obviously, those trays. These are extremely nice trays. Both of them, I think they're like catering grades, so like food safe, stainless steel stuff. The deeper one and the shallower one. And I'm really, really sad because of those deeper ones, I've only bought like four of them. And they were surprisingly cheap. And you know, then sometime later, I just was like, yeah, I would actually buy a dozen of these. But there weren't any. I only found those, which are, you know, as you can see, much shallower at like four times the price of this which only makes me believe or like that's my hypothesis that you know there was a container from china at some point where they got like a crap load of different sizes and as they started running out they put those like you know like uh, reduced trades just you know like to clear the inventory and when only these were left well <laughs> they were normal price so basically i got lucky on these ones but um, these are actually tweaked so i have some uh, hockey tape hockey tape just so you know like they don't slide on most surfaces that easily so yeah i mean really nice stuff i mean it's worth the money even like the full price really positive and uh, yeah that gives us a good look at the uh, construction of this and this is freaking positive i mean Mm, and I think this is like the worst thing you can to do, do to that and you're not even supposed to hold it, you're supposed to hold it, you can kill someone with that. So that's, um, I believe, 8mm thick uh, white heart PVC, so polyvinyl chloride, yes, thanks Avi. And yeah, I mean, a great test for my uh, drill press hacked into a shitty milling machine. I mean, for PVC, it's not really that shit, I mean, I haven't, you know, like... The amount of time you spend on like learning any skill, uh, it shows. So, you know, from afar, this is pretty good. And uh, first and foremost, it works extremely well. So, you know, two sides, they are like exactly the same. And now the rods, uh, these are M6, so like they're slightly like one millimeter larger rods. And uh, these actually have the cup nuts, which, yeah, I can, I can actually try to properly show you. So, you know, a nut with a hat. The hat makes it nice, although it makes everything, you know, like stick out a bit more. And yeah, more hockey tape, just not, you know, like rattle around when the trays are in. And, you know, like the windows, like this, I call them windows, you know, like the cavities here, mostly to reduce the weight. Because this stuff, I mean, the, the plate is 25 by 25 uh, centimeters. It is pretty heavy. I mean, this is brand new. This was my first purchase of like PVC plates. I got two millimeter thick ones, four millimeter thick ones, and also eight millimeter thick ones. Why? Because I had no idea. And the only way to have an idea is to actually, you know, get the stuff, see the stuff, try to do stuff with stuff. I mean, there is there is no skipping practice. No, I'm sorry if someone told you otherwise, but you cannot skip practice. So yeah. Uh, what more about it? except that it's like it is pretty heavy i haven't weighted it because i really don't care and uh, yeah rounded corners you know like handles and stuff like that i don't think these have many like no not many markings i tried to clean them i was actually thinking about painting that but hey i'm too lazy and i hate painting mostly because you're mostly waiting for the stuff to dry so yeah let's put it back together because you know i need to have a place to sleep and right now i don't so yeah, it's a bit noisy, but oh yeah, the last but not least thing, uh, again, one of my favorite materials, this uh, natural rubber uh, automotive audio dampening, like sound dampening uh, foam mats, just cut, not very precisely, but still you put them in. And then the main thing is that whenever you plop in anything heavier, Ah, well, as long as you obviously manage to put it on the mat, 
it's uh, not gonna make a lot of sounds. There? Yeah? Okay. That's for later when I forgot about this piece. Let it, let it be here. Doesn't matter. So yeah, I mean, tray carriers. I've been carrying this like loaded with a lot more stuff than it is right now. Had no problems. I mean, this one is really, really positive. That was the idea. Eight millimeters PVC. I mean, it is really, really strong. So yeah, hopefully any of that inspires you. And um, in terms of the notes, so yeah, that's what, uh, ninth month, that's probably September. Sorry, I really don't care about the numbers to uh, month names in any language, so you have to forgive me. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, the point is that if I wanted to like to recreate that, or like anyone watching is interested in the dimensions, the ideas, well, they are here. And I have even been like, I guess, oh, I have, I have some weights here. It's like almost a kilogram for like one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this thing is about like without the trace about two kilograms, which is like what? Five pounds <laughs> for something that, you know, it's, uh, uh, it doesn't really, you know, it's, I mean, wait, it's two pieces of plastic and some metal rods. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the only thing as I've mentioned in like one of the previous videos, I mix languages all the time. So my notes are uh, like that. But yeah, and yeah, it's, uh, we're at almost 17 minutes of a single shot video, which uh, technically is my goal. I mean, I don't like editing. I can do it now, but we'll see if this is usable. You know, hopefully fingers uh, crossed, uh, etc., etc. Mm, as usual, please uh, share what you're doing and uh, we have to keep the inspiration flowing around because it's all about that. I mean, we all it's all a flow and it's all a cycle. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!